There's a big intimidation factor when it comes to grilling seafood and fish because it's more delicate. But with the right tricks and tools and your spark grill, you can impart a delicious smoky flavor with no sticking or falling apart. So firm fish fillets such as swordfish, halibut, or mahi-mahi hold up really well on the grill. Today I'm using swordfish fillets. You just wanna brush them with olive oil before grilling. And you wanna aim for fillets that are at least a half inch thick. Just gonna season these up with salt and pepper. For smaller seafood like shrimp and scallops, using skewers makes it really easy to handle them on the grill. If you're using bamboo skewers, just be sure to soak them for at least 30 minutes to prevent them from burning. I like to use two skewers to prevent the shrimp from twirling around. This makes it really easy to handle and flip on the grill. Lightly oil the shrimp and season them with salt and pepper. So I can see on my app that the spark is up to temperature. I've oiled my grates and we're gonna be cooking these together at 600 degrees. So I went ahead and used a quick brick because they're gonna take only minutes to cook. So we'll load them on and it doesn't really matter where you put them on the grill, the consistent even heat. It's gonna let these cook super quickly and evenly and we're not really concerned about fatty meats at this point. The shrimp will only take about a minute to two per side. The swordfish will take more to three to four minutes per side. When you're grilling fish, a fish spatula like I have here is a real must have. It's a lot thinner than a traditional spatula. So it allows you to get under those fish fillets without tearing them apart. So I like to serve these fish and shrimp skewers with this really easy lemon caper herb sauce. It's got shallots and garlic and dill, and it just, it's gonna take the seafood to a whole other level. And best of all, you can make it ahead, making it perfect for entertaining. For more delicate fish like salmon or whitefish, using a cedar plank is foolproof. It imparts the fish with this delicious, kind of smoky, woody flavor, and it won't stick to the grill. Now, if you don't have a cedar plank, you could also just use an oiled piece of aluminum foil, and that's gonna prevent the fish from sticking as well. Just grill the fish right on top of that oiled aluminum foil. So here I have a spark cedar plank. Now, the one trick with these cedar planks is you need to soak them for at least an hour or two before grilling. Otherwise, they'll burn up on the grill. Also, you wanna shop for a center cut piece of fish. This is going to be more evenly shaped than say a tail end, meaning it's gonna cook more evenly. So I'm just gonna season this with some salt and pepper. You can add whatever seasonings you like. Today I decided to do a really, really simple glaze on the salmon. This is just a mixture of Dijon mustard and maple syrup, and it's gonna create this delicious crust on top of the salmon. So we can put that right on before it even goes on the grill. For a little extra flavor, I'm just going to arrange some lemon slices right on top. All right, now we're gonna put this on a 450 degree grill. I'm using a quick brick at 450 degrees. And you just wanna arrange the plank right in the center of the grill. Close the lid. We'll let that cook anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes, really depending on the thickness of your salmon. You'll know the salmon is ready when it flakes easily with a small knife. It'll still look rosy in the center. Grilling fish and seafood is such a game changer and luckily the spark makes it so easy.